Hey everyone, welcome back to Tenorshare. Did you guys using the new iPhone 14? It's great, the dynamic island is very useful, but have you guys met the problem that your iPhone 14 or 14 Pro overheating? It's like holding a fireball in my hand but at a lower temperature. Not the temperature I worry about, I worry about the hardware will be damaged if it keeps overheating like this. So I checked this issue out, you can follow the methods below if you have the same overheating issue. First, check your accessories. If your iPhone overheats during the charging, then it's very likely that your accessories are damaged. So whether you're using a lighting cable and an adapter, or a MagSafe to charge your iPhone, you need to check them out. Make sure they are not damaged, and it's better to use Apple's accessories. Second, even though you were not using them, they might keep refreshing the data in the background. So close them all, so that they won't consume your battery. Because if your iPhone is running a lot of processes, it will get heat. Third, remove the unnecessary widgets. You should know widget will constantly update data on your iPhone. So delete some of the necessary widgets, only leave what you need. Fourth, restart your iPhone 14. A restart could flesh out the cache that is stored on your iOS system. Offload those burdens, your iPhone will be faster, and the heating problem will be lessened. So you can simply power it off and power it on by holding the power button and volume down button. Or you could press the volume up and press the volume down, and then press and hold the power button to force restart your iPhone 14. Fifth, update your iPhone 14. The overheating might be caused by the iOS system battery drain, and if you haven't upgraded to the latest iOS version, I suggest you upgrade your iPhone to it, because Apple might fix the battery drain issue already. So here I recommend you use Tenorshare Reiboot. This is an iOS repair tool, it can fix more than 150 iOS system issues, but also can update your iPhone to the latest version. Check the download link in the description if you were interested. Once installed, connect your iPhone to your PC or Mac and then open Reiboot. Click the green start button and choose standard repair. Here need to download the firmware to upgrade your iPhone. Click download. The download process will not be long, depending on your network condition. Once the download is OK, click Start Standard Repair. Reiboot will begin to upgrade your iPhone. The upgrade process will take a while. Be patient, it will be over soon. Then you can see, my iPhone is up to date now. The overheating issue is not that serious now. Go try it. 6. Contact Apple Support. If the overheating issue is so serious that you literally like holding a fireball, then it must be your iPhone 14 hardware is damaged. There is no other way but to contact Apple support, and remember to contact them as soon as possible. Okay, that's it. Hope this video is helpful to you. I'll be grateful if you subscribe. See you guys next time.